Okay, so now we are at the fourth chapter of Bhagavad Gita. So, so far uh, Krishna has given the discourse around how to do the right action to the Arjuna, right? Act from the evenness of mind, act from the equanimity of the mind, uh, act for the sacrifice, act your action by offering to me, do not get entangled into the fruits of the action or you know do not get entangled into this opposite the pairs of these opposites pain and pleasure a victory and loss and these kind of stuff you know and renounce this fruit of action and then act so he's like from the state of complete equanimity you act right without caring about the fruit of action and all that that action itself is yoga right so most more or more or less the teaching were around this uh, 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 this concepts right how how one to perform the yoga of action right in this chapter, interestingly, he brings another dimension to it, right? He brings the dimension of knowledge. So what, what is the next step after you are sort of getting established or after you have practiced or enough or after you, you are getting established in the practice of, you know, performing the action as a yoga, you know? Then what is the next step? What is the, um, what is this uh, knowledge that he's talking about? Okay, so he says, you know, better than sacrifice of material possession is the sacrifice of wisdom. You know, Arjuna, all actions without exception, all actions without exception uh, is fully comprehended in wisdom or fully cultivated uh, in, in action, right? So, all cul culminated in the uh, knowledge, right? right? So, it's all actions finally finished in the knowledge, right? That's what he is saying. All actions finally finish in the knowledge, right? So the knowledge is like a seed uh, from which the action comes, right? Knowledge is uh, uh, knowledge is subtler than action, right? For example, I am creating these videos or I am reading Bhagavad Gita, but it's not happening by itself, right? Somewhere I heard about it. Somebody, somewhere I, you know, get this information. This knowledge was planted somewhere into my head. And that knowledge is now sort of blossoming into action, right? This knowledge is becoming an action, which is like I'm reading Bhagavad Gita, right? But it's not happening by itself, right? It's happening from the seed of a knowledge. <clears throat> so that's what he's saying. All the actions finally finished in the knowledge, right? And then he suggested that, you know, through humble submission, through inquiry, through uh, service, the knowing ones, the perceiver of the truth, the gurus, you can say in a way, the person who... Uh, who has found the truth right who has dedicated his life into this uh, path and who has you know who is ahead than you and who who is the knower of the truth uh, go to them and service offer your service offer your submission and all that and ask them to teach you this knowledge right so learn it from them then somebody who has experienced it by themselves right uh, that's the suggestion he's giving and then he's saying uh, the knowledge he is talking about not, is not like a very mundane knowledge. He is talking about something very specific. He is talk. He is saying like knowing that you should knowing that means knowing that uh, ultimate knowledge, uh, knowing that you should not again fall into delusion. Currently you are acting because of this ignorance, right? Currently the seed is ignorance. If there is no ignorance, then you will not be you know uh, doing the actions the way you are doing right now. You know I want this. I do not want this based on these desire, based on that desire. Uh, this is happening because your fundamental state is ignorance. He's talking about to, you know, cut down that ignorance altogether. And he's talking about that knowledge, right? So he's saying, knowing that you should not again fall into delusion, right? That means you are currently in the delusion. You shall not, you shall not again fall into delusion, Arjuna. And by that knowledge, you shall see all being in yourself and also in me, right? This is the knowledge he's talking about. This is the ultimate knowledge he's talking about. This one fundamental uh, reality, this one fundamental substance, you can call it being or being of yourself, right? Uh, and this is what he's also referring in many, many places before also, right? Uh, you, you see, action does not bind me, action does not taint me, I do not create the action, I do not, uh, you know, uh, get tainted by the fruit of that action, the person who... He's talking about this all the way, right? Like... Uh, you cannot see me or you cannot see yourself because there is this veil of, you know, Rajas Guna or this veil of desire in front of you. That's why you're not able to see it. So if you go beyond your thoughts and emotion, this is what the knowledge he's talking about basically, right? That 
by that knowledge you shall see all being in yourself and also in me right so that's the kind of uh, knowledge he's talking about to you know finish finally this uh, uh, this ignorance right now this is not a current <laughs> experience at all like uh, i am just one living being and everything is in me and all that that's why he's saying like go and find maybe a teacher who has experienced that and uh, learn from them right learn from it them but ultimately this is the knowledge that you want to finally uh, arrive at yeah and then he 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 gives this he's just like giving more um a discourse around this knowledge now like what is what this why this knowledge is important what it does to you right your mind is so restless for example right now because of these past action that you have taken past karma that you have created and in your ignorance you were creating like more selfish kind of karmas so these uh, you know these uh, the nature of their fruit is this this kind of a restless mind right so he's saying as the kindle fire as the kindle fire reduces the wood to ashes as the fire redu reduces the wood to ashes right anything uh, any wood you put into it it's is finally you know uh, turned into the ashes arjuna so the fire of the knowledge reduces all actions to ashes right all this th all these things that we have accumulated in the past all kind of past actions everything that we have accumulated this knowledge has capacity to burn it up in one shot right so so definitely it's a powerful stuff <laughs> that he is uh, suggesting this finally this once you arrive at that knowledge um, you know you are, you will be kind of done with all these uh, things you are trying to you know balance and manage and this and that uh, internally you will be and done and this is what the liberation is basically right freeing yourself from all these kind of uh, bondages that we have created in the past um, in our ignorant state he further goes on no purifier new no purifier equals to knowledge is found here in this world and then he says he who himself perfected in yoga in times find the knowledge in the self it's find the knowledge in the self right so he's saying the person who is practicing the yoga the yoga the way he is suggesting acting out of evenness of mind not creating more you know not getting a test of fruit of action and all that so once the person who is you know practicing and perfecting that yoga the person ultimately arrived by himself about this knowledge right he automatically gets to the point where this is revealed to him and this is as this seems like more you know common sense in the way like you know, our, our challenge here is like we have so many of these different uh, desires which is keep us you know so much restless and so much you know uh, so much movement in here and there so much waste of energy and so much uh, disturbance in a way which is not taking us anywhere on the other hand the way the krishna is telling us to act it's very obvious like you arrive the more you act in that way the le the more tranquil or more calm your mind becomes right the calm and simple mind and that mind is uh, not really you know moving too much and it's possible to pr it's possible to uh it's possible to receive or it's possible to see uh, this knowledge in that kind of mind right and he and then he is just uh, finishing it up with uh, some qualities and uh, uh, some interesting verses he says he who possesses uh, faith attained knowledge devoted devoted to that uh, straining his senses having attained knowledge he quickly attained the supreme peace so ultimately once you attain this knowledge once you practice um, Uh, once you perfected and practiced yoga and then you have received this uh, knowledge and then you have arrived at this knowledge uh, you ultimately quickly attain you quickly attain supreme peace right on the other hand the person who is ignorant and has no faith and has a doubting nature right ignorant no faith and doubting nature uh, for that person so again the knowledge what knowledge is doing is fundamentally you know removing the doubt removing the ignorance and doubt this this is what the knowledge is basically uh, solving right so on the other hand the person who is ignorant does not have faith who is doubting in the nature is um, you know unhappy in this world and any any other world that has to be come right so he he is saying the person who is of a doubting nature right he is has no faith and is deeply ignorant also for that person there is only suffering 
हेयर एंड आफ्टर वर्क एंड ऑन द अदर हैंड द पर्सन हु इज यू नो अगेन इस्टेब्लिश इन द योगा एंड कट अवे हिज डाउट्स विद द नॉलेज एंड ही पोजेज द सेल्फ राइट सो द सेम अगेन द ही इज मूविंग इन द सेम काइंड ऑफ प्लेन्स अगेन राइट एक्शंस बेस्ड ऑन द योगा दैट ही इज प्रिस्क्राइब प्रिस्क्राइब एंड देन ही कट अवे एनी डाउट बेज बाय द नॉलेज दैट ही हैज अटेंड और रिसीव एंड हु इज द पोजेस्ड हु इज पोजेस बाय द सेल्फ of the self understanding like who exactly he is uh, action cannot bind him basically right <laughs> action cannot uh, does not bind him so finally he says therefore having cut away with your own sort of knowledge uh, this doubt that proceed from ignorance and abides in your heart uh, resort to yoga arjuna yeah so very interestingly basically so far he has given as very clear cut instructions on how one should be acting right how one should be acting in order to liberate himself in order to not create more bondage in the world in a way right not able to create you know if if you are seeing like uh, your problem if you are seeing the mind as a restless really a big problem then he is suggesting these actions will you know at least won't create more uh, uh, mess in your mind right and they will help you to be uh, to start moving in the direction of the liberation and finally he is saying this knowledge will fundamentally cut down the ignorance itself right so you will be uh, there there is no ignorance from where you are acting so any kind of past um, actions that you have done which is making your mind restless right now uh, will be gone all together will be burned into the ashes by this knowledge right and from there you are you don't have an internal capacity uh, to kind of generate more of these kind of actions right you just don't you just finished with this thing internally externally you are still acting and you are still performing all these things but internally you have you know achieved the final piece or achieved the final goal right very interesting right so now we have two thing one is uh, the yoga of action and now we also have this uh, Uh, this ultimate knowledge that he is talking about which one can either attain by uh, perfecting his own practice of yoga or one should be uh, finding it with uh, you know from a from somebody receiving it from it from somebody who is uh, uh, who has seen it himself right and that's what we are doing also through this book is like seeing the perspective of krishna right and seeing and having faith that krishna is uh, uh, has a perspective of krishna can see things that is not easy for us to see and then you know learning from that and seeing his perspective and you know trying to understand his perspective and uh, are learning from him yeah